All right, now to your health. Union Pacific began testing soil surrounding the former Houston wood preserving site in Fifth Ward. KPRC2 has been covering cancer clusters in Fifth Ward and Cashmere Gardens exclusively and extensively over the past few years. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to explain more. Yeah, so I've got information from the EPA. Uh, we know the chemicals that they are looking for. They're looking for vapor intrusion, meaning these chemicals that could possibly vaporize into the air. Uh, some of the results are already pretty shocking, like benzene. We know that's a carcinogen that they're looking for. The highest level detected 52 times the screening level. So we know that by confirming this site as a cancer cluster in 2019, the state was already proving that people in the fifth ward get esophagus, lung, and larynx cancers significantly more than the rest of Texas. And one of their reports shows a higher number of children in that area die from leukemia. So now the EPA is digging in the dirt until September for more answers. Crews started sampling the soil yesterday morning. We have identified 41 um, chemicals that we're calling potential contaminants of concern, and those are chemicals that are related to um, the former creosote operation and the work that they did there for 50, 60 years. And yes, there are uh, chemicals on that list of 41 that are cancer-causing chemicals. Those are called carcinogens. Those, along with other chemicals that can cause other types of health effects, are all being considered as we go through the soil testing. The testing will provide valuable insights into the extent of contamination, both associated and unrelated to past activities at the site, and then determine the next steps. It seems like nothing is moving fast, but the cancer diagnoses keep coming. Attorney Jason Gibson spoke to Mario Diaz about all the diseases his clients are sick with. The list is three pages, but I can tell you the main ones. Brain cancer, leukemia, esophageal, stomach, kidney, liver, lung, bronchus. Uh, breast cancer, and the list goes on. All right, so coming up on KPRC 2 Plus, the live stream at 8 a.m., Patsy Gatterson is coming in the studio to speak with me. Now, Patsy has recently battled breast cancer, and both of her parents died of pancreatic cancer. So she knows firsthand how prevalent cancer seems to be in this part of town. It's the area she grew up in, and so she's talking to me about just how many people she knows living and battling cancer. Mm -hmm. with having to deal with this. Well, hopefully mm -hmm. they'll get answers to confirm this so that we already know, we yeah. already have an inkling that yeah. this is it. Yeah. All right, Haley, thank you so much.